What's going on? Stay back. It's already going to Hey. Come on, boss. No. Get there. Hey. Cat. They caught. Good job. <laughs> it's already done for Nick, so it already killed Nick. That's, Nick would not be this person, because that happened before their death. There's an axe just kind of like flying through the air. Where did that come from? Oh, it's from them, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think they were trying to cut one of its limbs or something like that, and then they, they just got shot back into the wall with those spikes. Just ripped them right away from their axe. Well, we know how they died. Oh, I'll have to wait till the end of this memory, right. They're trying to help them. They got speared once. Injured, but didn't kill them. Someone said N. Damon. What language is that? Demon, out of the way. Beat the court as enemy abroad. What's going on? Stay back. It's already done for Nick. Ah, come on, boss. Okay, that's important. Come on, boss. Who is that talking to who? I think the little cross thing here indicates that that's the lines that came from the person who died. Also, I looked up N. Damon, and apparently that's Danish. So I should look at the crew roster, see how many people are Danish. See who might have said that. Wasn't the person who died, though, so it's not them. Yeah, so the person who died said, come on, boss. And then I presume the boss said, no, get down. And then the person who died said, hey, catch. I think that's when they tried to throw their axe. And then they got stabbed, pierced, spiked. So... This person is their boss. Maybe not literally boss, but maybe. I still can't identify them. Hmm. Nah, they're both fuzzy still. But that boss line, I think, is important. So the other clues we have to go on for other people is the whole somebody said something in Danish. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't see you. Oh, you could be boss too. I don't know. It's probably this person, though. But yeah, other clues, we have the name Nick. They got Nick somewhere before this. And the whole Danish thing, you also are blurry. These creatures are so freaking cool. You're hiding, is this Charles? No, I don't know who you are. Upstairs. Oh my god, there's another one. That's the third one. I think. Or maybe this is the first one we saw. But this is just earlier in time. Or... Yeah, yeah I think this might just be the second one. Ooh, this is probably Nick. Yeah, that seems likely. I mean, it could... Could be this person, too. I feel like it's this person. And 
And this person, I think, is alive. I think they're... Yeah, they're just hiding. William Wasim. They were spiked by a... Oh, wait, you were spiked by a terrible beast? So wait, you're not dead here? Oh, no, it selected the wrong person. Don't ask if it's information to determine this person's identity. I feel like I do. I feel like that's got to be Nick. Like, very, very likely to be Nick. But okay, I'll wait. So they both, they both came on at the same time. One from one side and one from the other side. Clever. This one's flanking him real good. They've been spotted though by a couple people. Now I'm supposed to be able to identify you? Oh, you're a three triangle. That would be very difficult, then. You're the person in the striped shirt. Henry Brennan, later knifed by R. Witterell. What do they have around their neck? What is that? Okay. They were... They were speared. Not spiked. Speared. Yeah. Speared. By a beast. And I feel confident saying that they're Nick. Now, who is Nick? There's two Nicks. One is Edward Nichols, who's the second mate. And then the other one is Nicholas Botterell, who's a topman. Um, what are they wearing? Like... Yeah, I mean, look at where they are. Look at what they're wearing even in this picture. That's not a first mate. No way. Like... These are first mates and second mates next to the captain with fancy clothes. This is a topman. So you must be Nicholas Botterell. William Wasim. Henry Brennan. Already looked at you. Already looked at you. Oh. You are the one that landed on top of this thing, aren't you? Yeah, I have no idea who you are. Were you blurry? You're blurry.
The ship really is fucking cursed. Also, the person speaking had a very thick accent. Oh! I'm up here in the... In the sails? In the... Rafting? In the rigging? In the rigging? Let's look at the glossary. <laughs> rigging. These are positions. Carpenter, do, do, do. Yeah, I guess it's got to be the rigging, right? Network of ropes and chains supporting the masts and used for working the sails. Yeah, that's rigging. Interesting to see it from this perspective. God damn. Thunder. That's how it killed them. They were killed. They were struck by lightning. Oh yeah, sorry. Lightning, not thunder. Thunder's the noise. Lightning's the actual thing. I mean, that's not just bad luck, right? Like, this is... This is a goddamn curse. This is deliberate. Yeah, oops, we just accidentally got struck by lightning and attacked by two mermaid creature things riding on the backs of giant crabs. What a coincidence. How did they die? Is there an option for struck by... Electrocuted? Exploded? I mean, kinda. Electrocuted. Who are you? It got Nick. Okay, this further reinforces that I chose the right person for who Nick was, because it didn't get Nick. Nick was struck by lightning. The other person was stabbed directly by the spear of one of those things. So the other person definitely was Nick. No damn clue who this person is. Yeah, you can even see in this picture, they're hanging out kind of more up than everybody else, kind of on one of the mast posts or something. Probably because that's their job, right? They go up in the rigging and do things with the sails and whatnot. All these people up here do. Oh, hey, you are the person I've been supposed to have been able to identify forever. The person with those damn tattoos. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Let me see if I can notice anything down below first. Oh, they said get the sails, right? Um, where's the dialogue? Mainsail hauled up. Secure the braces and lower the top sail. Work fast, the wind is alive. That's why there's a ton of people pulling to get the sail, get the sail hauled up, whatever that means. Somebody's climbing up here. They've got a lantern. A creature's coming up. There's the other creature from the other side. That's about it for down there. Wait, so... Hold on. We're decapitated by a beast. I'm imagining in the pictures they show up next to each other. I imagine they like to hang out with people that are doing similar jobs to them because they probably spend a lot of time with them during the day, I would imagine. 
Oh, you look like you might be about to fall. I'm trying to hold on. Oh, I can go. I can keep going up here. You're playing cards. I think might be giving the commands. Who's saying this? Mainsail, hold up, secure the braces, lower the top sails, work fast, the wind is alive. Who's giving that command? Somebody speaking in an accent that definitely doesn't sound like an English or American accent? It'd be somebody in a position of command, right? So probably not one of these people up here? Maybe? Could it be that person? The person next to the cage, who I assume that's the person with the striped, like, vest, because we've seen him over by that cage just a little bit later. Right? Um. This. No, that. Um. Are actually, are they blurry? They might be blurry. Ah, no, they're not blurry. Yeah, it's this person. So this is the person giving commands to people. But they're not wearing, like, a captain's garb or anything like that. So... What are the jobs? Let's look at the glossary for a second. Captain, command of the ship, responsible for directing the other officers and ensuring the success and safety of the ship's voyage. No. A mate. Supports and assists their superiors. Help to run the ship and serve at the captain's request. Tradesmen mates serve their supervisor. Bosun. Foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. Definitely not a gunner. Purser uh, manages items and stuff like that. Surgeon, carpenter, helmsman. Rated seaman in control of the ship's wheel and general moment to moment navigation. Uh, maybe. Steward, servants to an officer or high, higher rated crew member. Performing general duties for the comfort of their employer. Eh, probably not. Mid midshipman? Officer in training? I don't know. Could it just be a topman? Thing is, there's a lot of topmen. I think all the topmen are the ones who work in the ropes, in the rigging. There's quite a few of them. Man, I don't know. Well, hold on. If they were the ones speaking, they seem to have an interesting accent. I'm not exactly sure what kind of an accent. But let's check the roster. Right? Do we have any... I guess any top... Um, topman from a place that maybe could have that sort of an accent? I have no idea. I don't think it was Scottish. Persia? I don't know what a Persian accent's like. There's one Russian topman. New Guinea? I want to listen to it again. I guess I have to leave first, right?
That didn't sound like a Russian accent to me. Maybe that just isn't the person speaking. Maybe I'm wrong to assume that they're a topman. I don't know. I don't think it's a, Ch a Chinese accent. Persian? Let me listen to what a Persian accent's like. Yeah, I, looked, I listened to a Persian accent. Doesn't sound right. I listened to a New Guinea accent. And it actually sounds like a plausible match. It's really hard to say, though, because, like, there isn't just a New Guinea accent or a Scottish accent or whatever. Places have many different types of accents, and people express those accents in many different ways, depending on, you know, exactly where they live and what languages they already speak and how much they've spoken of whatever language they're trying to speak in that isn't their native tongue. And yeah. And I mean, heck. Also, Maybe the voice actor is just doing a bad job at even doing the accent. Like, I have no actual idea. So, it's hard to tell. But I'm going to say that Maba, being the voice of that person, giving the orders for what to do with the sales, is plausible. I don't know if I'm confident enough to actually do the thing. Ah, oh, heck. I will. I'm going to do it. You listed as a three difficulty, though. I probably got them wrong. Let's go with it. Their name's pretty easy to find because it's... I think the only person's name who's just one name, no last name or anything. Man, I'm just going to pray that that's right. <laughs> so I think out of this whole sequence, I was only able to identify Nick. At least, definitively. And possibly Maba. I feel like I should have been able to identify a lot more. I don't know. I can always come back. The more memories I see, the more easy everything is to piece together. Let's see if we can head further down. Is it open now? Ah, it is. Is this the final deck? This is where I am, right? The Orlop deck? Gun deck, Orlop deck, and then... Cargo hold. Yeah, the final one. Hmm, somebody mentioned, like, the retreating to the lazarette or something like that. That is listed here? I don't understand what that... Oh, it's this section. This section here. At the back. That's the back? Yeah. The section at the back of the ship is the lazarette. Oh. Well, they killed one of them. And I get to see how it died. <laughs> There's one of the spears that one of those creatures riding it had. It's on the ground. You can see it's got something like wrapped. Oh, it's got stuff wrapped around it from the people who killed it, probably. Probably to try to keep it secure. Maybe they were worried it would maybe start moving again or something like that. So I think they tied up all its limbs. Yeah. Doo -doo.
and then that's when it died. As soon as it was shot with that shotgun-esque thing. Oh man, they have been stabbed a lot. I'm betting they didn't survive this, at least not for long, whoever they are. Somebody back there. The spear trying to stab it. I keep seeing you popping up, but you're still blurry, and I still have no freaking clue who you are. Oh, <laughs> I was about to snap their spear in half like a twig. Oh, you're the person with that thing around your neck who was up on the deck. You're still blurry. This monster perished simultaneously with a brave but unfortunate soul. They were stabbed, speared, spiked. Hmm. Spiked? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say speared. One of them's a literal spear. The others are basically spear limbs. Also, I'm wondering if it's possible. I wonder if it's possible this person could be Maba. It's really, really, really hard to tell with the art style, but I'm pretty sure they're black. And I think it's reasonable to say somebody from New Guinea would probably be black. And the person I listed as Maba, this one here, again, hard to tell, but I don't think they're black. Hmm. They're blurry. I don't know. You again. Who the hell are you? I saw you up in the riggings, right? I saw you up in the riggings. I'm pretty sure you're a topman. Judging based on your tattoos, uh, I don't know, just based on stereotypes, those sort of tattoos make me think of, I don't know, Scotland, Persia, definitely not China, Russia, maybe? No, not Russia. No, because we saw all the three Russians playing cards together, and this person wasn't one of them. Maybe the Scottish person. I don't know. I'm gonna go with that. If I get it wrong, so be it. Are there way? Are they? Nope, they're not wearing a shirt here either. That would just mess up all of my identification if they put on a shirt. Please don't do that. Yeah, I don't know what that means exactly, but heck yeah. Because doesn't one of them have not all the X's? Like... Mwah, whatever. Oh, 
What's this? What is this? Is there a body in the barrel? Actually, yeah, the barrel looks like it's kind of loosely... Like the top is loosely put on or crudely put on or something. I think there's something in the barrel. <laughs> Why? Do bodies age like fine wine? What is this part of the boat exactly? That is the bosun's store. Do do. So I think it was an accident. Oh, Jesus. Well, they got their head just crushed, but that's not the person, right? Right? Like, the sounds were, like, from inside of a barrel. Like, somebody was, like, s snuck inside of one. As a trap or to be transported somewhere for some reason. And then an accident happened. It fell. And that's what killed them. Yeah, who are you? I don't know. But I know how you died. You're that person again with that thing around your neck? This is the very beginning. Loose cargo. An unidentified stowaway expecting free passage and eventual freedom was instead crushed inside a falling barrel. So since this was at the beginning, then yeah, this was somebody like at the very, very beginning, they might've even still been docked when this was happening. Because this was them just getting all the cargo in, right? So, unidentified, I'm sure they're not on the roster. Apparently nobody even found them. Like, they wouldn't have left them in the barrel. Surely. So is there any chance of me ever finding out who they are? Everybody loading up. Oh. Some of so these these like um stairways? I think. Like what can be a stairway can also be like sort of removed. Those like weird panels that we've seen. Looks like you can kind of remove them so that you get this straight shot from the top of the boat all the way down for when trying to load up with things. Interesting. That makes sense. It'd be ridiculous if you have to carry everything by hand from the top all the way down. <laughs> have not seen you very often. You're one of these four people. Well, one of these two people. The two guards. Is there any way I could guess which one of the guards you are? Any obvious differences between the two? They're both still blurry. 
So I don't think we'd have any way of really knowing. Like they're in here, right? Oh, they would just be a passenger, right? Yeah, they're just listed as a passenger. Hmm. Then I'm not even sure. I haven't really narrowed it down to two at all. Because I, I was expecting them to be listed on the manifest as like a guard or something, but they don't work for the ship. They work for this person, I think. I could limit it down to maybe three names. Figure out which one is probably a woman's name, then that would probably limit it to these three people. But yeah, I have no way of knowing who's who. Solomon Saeed. Died of illness later. Renfried Rajub. Ren Renfred Rajub. Died of illness later as well. Yeah, so this, this whole thing up here, this can be removed on all the floors. What does it look like from up here? Oh, it's this whole thing. Okay. lost track of where I was. It's over here. Yeah. Nobody said a damn name. Damn you. So this is just like a quarter of a second before the other memory, right? This barrel hasn't quite hit, so they're not quite dead yet. They died just before. None of these bits of dialogue are from the person who died. Make way coming through, or up stern neath the tiller, lower away. Oi, wait, wait, no, down below. Yeah, you're you're still blurry. I have no way of knowing who you are, but I do know how you died. Crushed. By cargo. I don't know if I'm going to find anything of use here from this memory that's like a quarter of a second before the other one. I don't think so. Is that the... Is that the whole chapter for Loose Cargo? Oh, I guess it is. So 
So right off the bat, probably before they even left the dock... Yeah, they were still docked. Oh, so this is where they started. Right? They're coming down to here. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, the ship is obviously cursed. A stowaway died and nobody even knew. And somebody was killed by cargo. On day one. Uh... Where, where was I? Started from back here, right? Just visited two of these doors, but there's four. Which ones have I been in? Not this one. This one I've been in, right? Yep. Same with that one. That's where the crab thing was. that eventually. There's a... There's a hatch in there that's open. What is that open to? We're on the lowest place we can go. What is... Oh, part one to two, that's why it's pointing from there to here, showing the flow of events. Hmm. So this is the lazarette. Where does this go? What the hell? Is this from a human? There's almost nothing left of them. Tiny bit of blood and a couple bones? 